Welcome to today's video guys. Today we are going to be discussing studio monitor placement or studio speaker placement part 2. Uh, in our previous video we discussed the part 1 and we established that the placement of studio monitor or studio speaker has to be placed the right way. And we said that placing it straight that faces back or side like this that um, is actually a wrong way just as you can see um, on the picture here I have here so it's actually a wrong way to place the studio monitor and we established that it is right or the proper way to place the studio monitor is that you have to make it curve in such a way that both monitors face you all right so we, we established that fact in our previous video and we also said that um, when you want to place a studio monitor you think of um, triangle right so both ways the other one is facing this side the other one is facing this side you as the person you are the end of that triangle okay so meaning that the two monitors will be facing you you as the engineer so that you can actually get the proper sound of your mix and get to make the right decision during your mix all right so if you have not seen the video i would suggest that um, you check this channel or you check this page wherever you are seeing this video from you check for the part one and watch it for proper and better understanding all right and if you are coming across our page for the first time do ensure that you check out these videos too and then watch our videos all right and then get values okay so today we are just going to dive straight into the part two yeah i got other questions all right there were two questions that came in um about the monitor placement right so uh the first question was that um is it proper that i place a monitor or i place my monitor on the table that is higher than me or on a higher table rather so the person was like is it proper i place my monitor on a higher table so um so today we are simply going to look at the height okay um we are going to look at the height and then um, see okay is it proper so maybe i should put the question to you how do you place your studio monitor is it on a higher table that is higher than you or a lower table that is lower than you okay so um how do how do you get to make the choice of um the height that you get to place your studio monitor well there are certain things you have to put into consideration in placing your studio monitor on a table that is higher than you or a table that is lower than you i will start with the lower table you will not want to place your monitor on a table that is extremely low that will not make the sound get to you as a person so there are directions that the sound must really get to all right the sound don't need to get to your chest the sound don't need to get to your tummy okay the sound needs to get to your ears they need to get to your ears well i know you may be asking okay however i place it i get to hear the sound fine of course you can get to hear the sound even if you place your monitor however you place it even if you go behind the monitor you will still be hearing sound right but the point is is that actually the right sound you are supposed to be hearing to get to make your decision in mixing so that is the thing so you would want to place it in such a way that the sound gets to your ears not your neck not your tummy not your chest not down all right so there are certain steps you need to take to make sure that okay if i am going to place my monitor on a lower table then i need to do something one way or the other that it will get to me look at mine for instance now okay so um if you look at my table it's low but not extremely low right you can see that fine i needed to get the sound to me okay so i use my monitor isolator part okay which my monitor is sitting on usually how the part is placed it used to be placed the other way so and if i place it that way my monitor will be facing down you see that now so i had to turn it the other way that my monitor needs to face up in a way that it will get to me it will get to my ears so if you look at me here if i turn right now and i face my monitor you will see that the sound gets okay excuse me sorry okay so sorry if you are getting extra noise all right so if i sit like this i hope you can still hear me 
So if I set like this, so you could see that this is coming this to this direction and this is coming to this direction. So you see that. So that is actually how to get to place your monitor. So you can see that my monitor is sitting on a selector pad and it seems as though the front is raised. That is because of the way the accelerator pad is designed that my monitor is sitting on, all right? So the front is raised and this other front is raised. The goal is that is for it to get to me, all right, to get to my ears, okay? And another thing, another thing, okay, hold on, excuse me. Okay, I hope you can see me clearly. So another thing I want you to put into consideration in placing your studio monitor as well is your height as a person. Your height as a person and the height of the seat you are going to sit on as well. Okay, so why I made this decision like this is because, number one, <laughs> I'm not too tall, right? So, um, so I got the table that will fit me, all right? So, and my seat as well too. So I, I put all of these things into consideration, right? So my height, the height of my seat, then the height of my table, these were the factors that I put together. So how tall are you? How short are you? The seat you are going to sit on, how tall is it or how short is it? Okay, so these are the different things you need to put into, into consideration because the goal of all of this is that the sound needs to get to the right place for you to get to make the right decision in your mixing okay so that is that okay talking about higher table now if your table is higher i don't know how high your table should be but i'm not going to um say this is how high your table should be but as a person even when you get to look at the screen of your work do you have to stretch your neck to see if you have to be stretching your neck to get to see your screen properly I, I i feel that's that table is quite too high for you so if you have to be stretching your neck so it simply means that the monitor is going to be above you you see that now so in that case it is suggested or i would suggest that you get an isolator pad like this that will make the monitor instead of it raising like this like mine is is raised up like this instead of yours to be raised like this yours will be down in such a way that it will face you all right so like i said i turn my isolator part the other way so you would set your own the proper way so that it will face down and face you if your table is higher but i feel if your table is too high that you have to be stretching your neck to get to see your screen I, I feel you should consider um lowering that table so that you don't need to stretch your neck because when you have to start stretching your neck to see your screen it simply means that when you place that monitor it's going to be extremely high for you okay but if your monitor is placed on a higher place probably on the monitor stand or on the table just ensure that it is not too high that will take the sound over your head okay so just like the picture you can see here just check out this picture so if your monitor is high it will take the sound above your head so the sound will not come to your ears you see that now so if you can look for something to place it or if you can place it on um the isolator part that will bend it in such a way that it will get to your ears fine and if you are comfortable with that but i feel if your monitor is too high um, you may not really get the the proper uh, sound okay so that is one so the second question that came was that how long should my table be or what distance should i give my monitors okay from this monitor to this monitor and to myself as the engineer what are the distance i should give these monitors okay um one of the things I want to make you to understand is that, first of all, uh, whenever you are going to start buying things, of course, the first thing you check is your pocket, right? How fat is my pocket? Because the table you are going to get, definitely, it's going to cost you, right? So, but then, one of the things I would suggest is that 
just make sure that your table is not too short okay you will not want to probably if you are using a small size of of uh, screen okay you know what you will not want both monitors to be too close to each other that you that you like you will not just want them to be too close to each other because if they are too close to each other you will not be able to differentiate between right and left and the way the monitor is perceived the monitor is actually being perceived in three different dimensions okay the first dimension is the panning dimension that is between the left and the right monitor okay so there has to be quite some distance well some people do say four point something meter or whatever meter it should be or oh, sorry inches it should be i don't know i don't want to say okay this is it because i'm not in your pocket to decide what that should be but what i'm trying to say is that if you are going to make the decision to get a table for your monitor okay get something that is longer a bit okay or if you cannot or let's assume you just have the table you want to make use of and you don't want to get another table i would suggest then get monitor stands okay get the stands that you will place the get stands here that you are going to place this monitor on them okay so that the monitor don't stay too close to each other because if the monitors are too close to each other you will not be able to um, differentiate between right and left um, sound well especially when you want to get to do panning okay so ensure that you make that decision the right way okay now talking about the distance between the monitor and you as well some people do say i don't know well just check this picture here this is another suggestion by somebody you can see this picture here this person is saying it should be this 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 that well you as a person okay just ensure that you give some distance between yourself and your monitor because the goal here is that you still want to hear the right thing okay so just make sure that there is a distance between you and your monitor and there's a, there's a distance between this monitor and this other monitor as well all right so that you get to hear the right thing and you get to come out with a good and a clean mix okay so guys that is it for today's video um if you are coming across our page for the first time and our channel for the first time kindly ensure you subscribe and if you got value from what we are doing please give us a thumbs up and share this video with other people this would be of great benefit too all right so guys keep your questions coming okay i look forward to receiving your questions on um things tips you want okay tutorials you want me you want me to record okay just keep your questions coming and as god gives me the grace i will continue to make sure that i provide solution and answers to your questions all right so guys god bless you enjoy the rest of your day